Hey YouTubers, good morning. Great day in America. <laughs> Guys, this is uh, not gonna be a video on how to make stuff, it's a video response to, to Manland. Manland has a channel that's basically bushcraft. I don't watch it for bushcraft because I live in the city in a small apartment and uh, I basically watch it because he likes to do humor once in a while and he does comedy with voices, impersonations and physical humor and anybody who tries to make their videos more interesting with humor, I'm a big fan. Uh, because unless you've tried to do it yourself, you don't know how hard, it, how hard it is. So this is a response to Manland, the amazing Mark D. Chandler. He did a video asking people to describe what lights they use when they film at night or in the dark. And I thought I'd make a quick video response to it. Uh, I did a review of my videos and the last two I did at night, I didn't use any lights. At the end of this video, I'll show what I did. I was outside filming and there was a fog. We don't usually have fog in Miami or South Florida. So I filmed and when I was done, I had footage of me in the dark and the fog. <laughs> what can I do with this? And I made a video of it. So it shows you sometimes you can do stuff without lights at night. But we're gonna be talking about lights. If I'm in the apartment, I like to use these types of lights over here. Um, I bought them on Amazon. They're really good for getting more video uh, better quality light in the kitchen for doing cooking and stuff. But if you want to test lights to cameras, let's go down here. This is what we got going on here. You know, years ago, every camera had a light, but they stopped putting lights on them. So if you want to film, it's kind of hard. Do it at night or in the dark without any lights. So if you have a bracket, a bracket comes with hot shoes, so you can add, there's uh, tons and tons of different lights you can get with hot shoe attachments attached to a camera bracket. Um, but if you don't have a light that uses a bracket, you can just get a regular light and uh, attach it with uh, zip ties or rubber bands and it works out pretty good. By the way, this stand I made for this bracket, I made a video of it. You can see it. I'll put a link to it. It, it costs like 50 cents and it, it fall, comes apart. It, it really increases the utilitarian uh, usage of the... Uh, do you like that big word? <laughs> it makes it handy. <laughs> so, uh, if you if you want to attach stuff, lights to your other cameras, I recommend a bracket. It's a lot easier to, to uh, do stuff. Now, what about the, the GoPros and stuff? It'd be... You can still attach this to a bracket, but uh, this particular camera has the ability to turn the image upside down. So you can put a camera light on top. I'm using this uh, underwater light. I got this one and this one. This one didn't work. This one didn't work. And this one did. Uh, when I left a review for this one, the seller sent me a new one and it works fine. It was like $15. Um, it'll go down to 90 feet. And I haven't used it underwater at all yet. Uh, this is a light I got to put uh, were on my head instead of putting on the camera. That way I could focus. I was under the sink. I wanted to f focus me making something under the sink, fixing something. And this has turned out to be actually not that good of a quality. Uh, it, not a lot of light that comes out of it. And um, I wasn't too happy. Stuff kept falling off. So I saw this on Amazon. It's something called a uh, headband. It attaches a light to your head and the reason I like this, I think I'm going to like it, is because these are the best flashlights I ever got. There was like $12 for two of them. It doesn't come with batteries, but it comes with a battery charger. It's a Cree at Ultrafire. It was like $12 for two of them. And it's a wonderful light. And if I could attach this to my head, this is a mediocre light. This is an amazing light. So I think this is going to be better than buying one of these cheap headlights. While we're talking about underwater lights for a second, you can actually make your own underwater lights. Uh, if you go back to some of my old videos I have from years ago, I made a lot of underwater camera housings and I show how you can put lenses in different things. You can get lenses uh, off of eBay or you can cut your own. It's easier to buy them because when you cut them, it doesn't cut them smoothly. And then just cut out a top and get like four or five stainless um, machine screws and get some 3M5200 for sealant because it doesn't get really hard brittle. It stays a little bit soft, that way it makes our gasket. 
then you could put your flashlights in there and attach to different things and make your own underwater lights. Um, what else we got going? Well guys, that's about it for different lights that I use uh, in the house. But like I said, the stuff at nighttime, I, the last two videos I did at night, I filmed without lights. And I'll show you one I did at the end of the video. Um, and like I said, you can make your own lights, underwater lights, out of different things if you get some clear acrylic lenses and then stuff a regular light, flashlight inside. Guys, um, that's it for the video response to Manland. Hope you check out his channel. And I'll be putting on right now a video I made at night of me uh, filming without any lights. <laughs> I hope you like it, guys. Take care and uh, see you out there.